Good morning, all. I hope you are all doing well. So we've been talking about operations on integers recently, which is our positive and negative counting numbers. Now we're going to start adding in our rational numbers, so our fractions, our decimals, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into it. And I know fractions are all our favorite things, so we're just we're going to muster through and do our best at it, okay? So a rational number, remember, is a number that can be written in the form of m over n with n not equal to 0. So basically, it's a number that can be written as a fraction, okay? And when we're adding and subtracting rational numbers, we have the same rules as adding and subtracting integers, okay? But when we add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. And if we can find the least common denominator, that will make us have to simplify less later, okay? So let's look at one-fifth and two-thirds. So I'm looking at 5 and 3. 3 doesn't go into 5 and 5 doesn't go into 3. So I would just think what number can both 5 and 3 go into? And that's 15. So I'm going to try and make both my denominators look like 15. Okay. So what did I multiply 5 by to get 15? I had to multiply by 3. So that means I must multiply my top by 3. So I get 3. What did I multiply the bottom by over here to get 15? I multiplied by 5, so I must multiply my top by 5. And then I get 10. And 3 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths is just 13 fifteenths. Okay. Now that was just two positives, so we added them like normal. Let's go ahead and look at our fractions with positives and negatives now. So I'm looking at 7 and 5 as my, common de as my denominators. So my common denominator would be 35. And again, notice how I'm writing down my denominator so I remember what they're supposed to be. So I need to multiply 7 by 5 to get 35, so then I also need to multiply the top by 5. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. I have to multiply 5 by 7 to get our common denominator here, and 3 times 7 is 21. Okay. Now I have negative 10 plus 21. So that's like I'm $10 in debt and I make 21, so I have $11 left because I'm going to pay off my debt. Okay. Now I would strongly recommend when we're looking at mixed numbers that we change them to improper fractions. So remember we do 3 times 1 plus 2. So that would give me 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5, so 5 thirds. Plus, remember when I'm converting with a negative, I just ignore it until I'm done. So 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, so I'd have negative 13 over 6. And again, now I need to get a common denominator, so between 3 and 6. Again, I could use 18, but I'm going to use my lowest common denominator. Okay, And I'm going to use 6. So this guy is already at 6, which makes my life a little bit easier. Okay. And I have to multiply this bottom by 2 to get 6, so I have to multiply the top by 2, so I get 10. So I get 10 plus negative 12 over 6, which is going to be negative 2 over 6. Now, I should always double check and make sure my fraction cannot be reduced. And 2 goes into both of those, so 2 goes into negative 2, negative 1 times. 2 goes into 6, 3 times. So my final answer is negative 1 third. Okay? So remember, mix numbers for any of our operations, go ahead and change it into an improper fraction. That will just help us, especially with our positives and negatives. You don't have to worry about trying to borrow from the fraction part of the mixed number. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so we can see our problem below here. All right, so now we have three numbers. Okay, so let's try it. So I'm looking at 5, 15, and 10. And I know that they can all go into 30. Now, if you needed to, you could make it 150 if you want, but that's just going to be a lot of simplifying later. So let's use 30. Okay, so 5 times 6 gives me 30, so I'm going to multiply the top by 6 to get 12. To get 30 over here, I multiply by 2. Four negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Okay. And then to get to 30 here, I multiply by 3, so I multiply the top by 3 to give me 3. So now I'm going to do just like what I did before. So 12 plus negative 8 would give me a positive 4. So this would be 4 thirtieths plus 3 thirtieths, which gives me 7 thirtieths. And that cannot be reduced. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller again. 
just so I'm not in the way of my next problem. So I'm going to have you go ahead and try this one. So I'm looking at 6 and 4, and I'm going to go with my lowest common denominator, which is 12, but you could go with 24 if you need to. Again, if you use a higher um, denominator, that just means you're going to have to simplify more at the end, so it's not a huge deal. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2 to get 12 there. So 1 times 2 is 2. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3 to get 12 for my denominator. And 3 times 3 is 9. 2 minus 9, okay, because we have a minus sign. 2 minus 9 is negative 7 over 12, which is fully reduced. So that is our final answer here. Okay. And go ahead, I want you to try this one now too. Remember, when we are dealing with, Im with mixed numbers, we're going to change them to improper fractions. So 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So we have 9 fourths, minus 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14 thirds. I need to get a common denominator when I'm adding and subtracting fractions. So I'm going to get 12 for both of these. Multiply top and bottom by 3 over here. 9 times 3 is 27. Multiply top and bottom by 4 here. And 14 times 4 would be... 16 for 56. Okay. And now I'm going to subtract. Now, again, I'm seeing I have 27 minus 56. I'm taking more away than what I have. So my answer is definitely going to be negative. So then off to the side here, I can do, I'll do it in a different color, 56 minus 27. So I'm going to borrow 16 minus 7 is 9. So I get 29. Sorry about that. So negative 29 and twelfths, and that cannot be simplified, so we will leave it as is. Okay, I think this is our last one. I'm just going to move this guy up a little bit. Let's change colors here. All right, again, I'm looking at 3, 2, and 2. So my lowest common denominator, or least common denominator, would be 6. So again, notice how I'm putting all of my operation, or all of my denominators right below. I'm, I'm getting ready to show my work. Multiply top and bottom by 2, so I get 2 here. Multiply top and bottom by 3 here, so I get 33. Multiply top and bottom by 3 here as well, so I get 3. So now I'm doing 2 minus 33, which would give me negative 31 sixth minus 3 over 6. So again, this is like I'm putting $31 on my credit card, then another $3 on my credit card, so that means I am $34 in debt over 6. And again, anytime I have a fraction answer, I can reduce it. You could put it as a mixed number if you'd like, but you don't have to. So 2 goes into both of those. 2 goes into 34 17 times, and we keep the negative sign. 2 goes into 6 3 times, so we get negative 17 thirds. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!